So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode number four of Master League. Uh, and we continue, we continue to try and win a game. All right, I love the comments, keep them going. Some of you guys love the fact that we're struggling, saying stick with it. And then there's some of you guys that are like, what are you doing, Ricky? You're embarrassing yourself. Put it back to pass assist or basic shooting. No, 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 people. Okay, let me tell you this much. If you're new to this channel, you're going to get a reality check because this isn't like most channels. I watch other channels, you know, even FIFA YouTubers that do career mode and they win every game, every game. Well, generally FIFA's easier anyway half the time, but they win every single match. It's not going to happen on this channel. If I get relegated, if I get fired, sacked, you guys will see it all. It's just like watching your own team in real life. We've watched Man United for how many years and they never win anything these days, but that's the struggle we're in, people. It's going to be a struggle. So embrace it, enjoy it. Trust me, playing is infuriating, yes, but I will get to grips with it. Also remember, I'm commentating at the same time as playing and, and I do silly things at times that I shouldn't do. I know it and I know I shouldn't do it, but sometimes I just do. Just give me a just give me a little bit of time, people, all right? And then things will start clicking. We're going to continue to play on top player and then go from there. Now, today's lineup, today's lineup. We're making a couple of changes. I'm going to start with we're going to go for the 4-3-3, just a standard 4-3-3 and we're going to stick with it for now. Luigi's kind of tempting to start just because he's buzzing, but I know his stats are really poor and it's not going to help me out. We're going to start Richarlison up top. I wasn't impressed with Calvert-Lewin last game. Bernard came on and he actually set up a goal, so we're going to start him. His form's also up a little bit. Hammers today, I'm going to start on the right-hand side, all right? I want to see if we can cut in with him and have some shots and do the business. And also, Saar is on red. That's primarily the reason why he's playing there, because Saar is done for today. So we're going to play David as well. He's been pretty good. I think watching him grow is going to be in an interesting one, because this guy, for a 20-year-old... The stats are already quite promising, so I'm looking forward to growing him. We're going to start the Corey with Alan. Alan's been great in the middle, and then we've got Keane and Mina. I'm liking the look of Godfrey as well. He's up for today, but I'm going to rest him just because he played the last game. But he's only 22, this guy, and once again, there's, there's room to grow. There's room to grow people in this team. That's why we've chosen Everton. And we're going to start Olsen in goal because Pickford needs a bit of a rest. All right, so there's a look at Southampton. They won't be a slouch. You know, Ings up top. You know, he can score some goals. He certainly can. So we're going to put this to 15 minutes, all right? Don't worry, you're not going to see a 15-minute match. I'll take out some parts, but most of the time, you're going to get a good amount of the match. I like to show more highlights than less highlights, uh, but top player, of course. And where are we playing? We are back at Goodison Park. All right, so let's dive into it. I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you do, smash the like button. If you don't, then you don't have to. The choice is yours. But anyway... Get behind your manager, people. Get behind Luigi, because today's the day that we hopefully win our first match. Let's dive into it. So live at Goodison Park is Southampton. Is the opponents for today's game. Luigi's, as we know, he's been in the press, the media. There's a lot of talk about him on this Everton side that he hasn't got playing very well as of yet. The question is... Can they actually get a result today? We will find out in 90 minutes' time. Going for that 4-3-3, taking on uh, the Southampton side. That are not going to be a slouch. I mean, they're going to come into play. It's as simple as that. Danny Ings has got some quality about him. Can certainly score you a goal or two. As uh, Bertrand does well. Starts again with Ward-Prowse. Little deflection there. Allen's missed it. Finds it. Theo Walcott with a strike, and that's well, well wide. And now a chance for Southampton to bring it forward with uh, former Arsenal man of Theo Walcott, but it never really clicked for him at Arsenal, did it? It was one of those players, Theo Walcott. There was high expectations on him. There's a lot of talk to him about him at the beginning of his career, about being the next Thierry Henry, but uh, I don't think he quite uh, fulfilled the destiny of becoming Thierry Henry. Nice play here by Armstrong. Well done, David. Sticks the foot in and finds Allen now, who can uh, look to bring this forward. Flick it off to Seamus Coleman and get it back again. I think he's going to be a good signing, Allen. He's, he's fit quite nicely into this Everton side. Gives them that little bit more stability in the middle as well. David oh, wanted a 1-2 there, didn't he, with Bernard, and that's what they'll be looking for. 
Looking to switch it. It's not a good ball at all. And it's going to be James Rodriguez. It's going to be long. Looking for Armstrong. Well done to Corey. Fed up the line. Now here comes Bernard. Some space there, but it just needed to be a little bit quicker. Theo Walcott. Long. Challenged by Dinya. It's uh, all a bit scrappy at the moment. Feeds that one up the line. It was a heavy touch by David. But the young boy getting plenty of playing time. And here comes Ings. Finds Walcott. Long. Walcott again. And there is David. Back quickly. Good defending by him. Force pass by Allen. Didn't need to do it there. Could have took a touch and then decided against it. Instead, Ward Prowse with a go. And well, that's a comfortable save. 20 minutes gone. Not too many attempts so far. Walker Peters, that's fantastic play by him there. Great challenge by Allen, not having any of it. Now Richarlison, looking to play it through. Oh, it is a good idea. Could have maybe gone over the top. Wanted to just try and play it through the middle. And here we go again with Richarlison. Skips past the challenge, lays it forward. It's David! Oh, what a chance. He tried to go back post, maybe could have gone towards the front post, but good movement. Well played, Richarlison. And it was just that touch, and uh, keeper did enough. More chance for the corner now. Ball's fired in towards the uh, back post. Mina's up, there's an effort, and it's in! Everton have scored, and it's Dinya of all players. Get in! We've scored first, I'm delighted, Luigi will be delighted, he won't get too excited and he's not going to play ultra defensive but this one straight from the training ground not that you'll see much of the stadium in the way but Mina got up so so well he's a big tall lad at the back post nods it back across the face, there it is, what a leap that is, miles above and then it actually comes off the defender and through the legs we'll take it so we have the opening goal, 26 minutes played. And it's Everton getting their first goal at home. That's right, it's been uh, a few games, but they finally have broken the seal, really, haven't they? But now they're going to have to make sure they do keep their shape and don't switch off at the back. There's uh, Armstrong with a nice little reverse ball to Beatrice now with a lot of space here, who delivers it high towards the back post. Dinya gets it away, DeCorey flicks it on Bernard finds uh, Richarlison, it's a tasty looking pass to uh, James who's got no support there but that was a full blooded challenge and apparently he won the ball well Stevens need to play that one through the middle, Ings with a deft touch to find Armstrong Beatrin now, he's going to be up and down this flank but he's also going to be vulnerable when you think about it James is going to have a lot of space if he keeps pulling himself forward as uh, Ward Prowse lays it forward and uh, Mina well I would very hope that's not being given as a penalty there because Mina won the ball 100% to Corey towards Bernard says nope we're going to start again just need to be a little bit more patient with the build up play James find to Corey back to Allen touch to Seamus Coleman James Rodriguez a uh, little bit of space here oh, is he going to look to deliver it in fantastic ball in that was by James oh, delicious delicious well, James Rodriguez to take with a couple of minutes to spare. Once again, they're looking for Mina, and it worked out for him last time. James Rodriguez looking to fire one in. Didn't quite work out. Ings looks to get it down, but uh, Seamus Coleman comes across quickly, and I think Luigi will be happy with his first half display. I mean, the goal's there. They haven't really dominated the match, but they've certainly controlled moments of it. And here's Bernard. Allen 
And that is going to be half time. Everton lead narrowly by a goal to nil. Thanks to Dinya after 26 minutes. So the second half begins and we've dropped off uh, Allen just to a sort of a DMF. Need a little bit of security here. Hey, I will take a 1-0 here all day. So if we can try and hold on, it's, 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 I mean, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, we're playing on top player, so it's not superstar, but, you know, either way, it only takes one little bit of magic and suddenly there's a chance and that's a good looking pass and saying that, my word, I thought that was going out, but, wow, unbelievable stuff. Look at this ball here. That's madness. And, oh, unbelievable, unbelievable. Mina is feeding it on to Dinya with some space here as uh, David back to the Corey Dinya once again and he'll certainly want some movement by his uh, his lads now Bernard does deliver it in looking for David with a header oh. Stevens not the best pass by him given away Ward Prowse looping it over the top finding uh, David now towards the Corey and David's got some space here David still going ah, it's just a little bit too much by the young boy I think he's probably got to learn to pass the ball from time to time it's it's never easy to take your man on here's Walcott and they need to close him down he has a go and it's poor really so the first change, Decorey is being replaced by Andre Gomez. Going to bring a little bit more creativity in the middle, I feel. Uh, we're going to push James Rodriguez in the middle, and David is going to push out on the flank. But yeah, apparently Decorey's had a belter of a game. He's getting a standing ovation. Well played. Didn't get to take, fizzes it up the line, and it's a, a really good ball, actually, to find Bernard. Dinya with a chance to deliver it in. Comes back to uh, Allen with a strike. Oh, he hit that one well, didn't he? Really did get hold of this one. That's what the day more of it. Have a shot from long range. You never know. Test the goalie. There's the power. Was it heading in? I think it was. 88% completion for both teams so far. As Mina's up once again. The corners is where Everton are causing the most problems. So another change, Luigi Jr. making an appearance as uh, Richarlison, looking a bit tired, makes way. There he is. There is the Italian. Well, the young 17-year-old expecting things from him. The referee's got to give the foul for that one, and Bernard stayed down as well. Pretty lenient referee in there for Ward-Prowse. He could have gone into the book. Bernard just a little bit too quick for him. Clattered praying James Rodriguez to take this one as he switches it out to Allen lovely pass now here is uh, Seamus Coleman with a chance to accelerate away gets a second go to it there's a couple of players in there but has to be a better ball than that it really has to be Luigi just hounding McCarthy putting some pressure on him Keane fantastic header there David unable to get it down a bit disappointing a bit of a foot race between uh, Mina and Long. Oh, my dear, oh dear. That was nervy, nervy Poof, mouth in the heart situation there. Bernard, little dink, little flick. Oh, lovely pass from Hannes. Worked it to perfection. That's not the ball, though, is it? Because they could have probably found Luigi Jr. instead. Just about get it away. Alan flicks it on inside. This is where the games have become very stretched, very open. Now he's asking a lot of Dinya there. He's asking an awful lot of him, especially when he's mullered. So there is a change. Dinya has been replaced. And here's a chance for Bernard now. Gets the ball in the corner and he'll take the corner. Another chance for James Rodriguez. Delivering that one high towards the back post. There's an effort. Oh, we are the corner masters today. And I tell you what, this guy Bernard, we've started him. And he's played well. I mean, he has. Fantastic, boys. Mina is getting some assists. This guy knows how to work it from the training ground. What a finish, though. Oh. 
That's an assist and a goal in the last two matches. No one's picking him up. Free effort, but that is a cracking finish. Delighted. So two goals to nil. Everton, have they broken the streak? I won't get too carried away just yet. Still 12, 13 minutes to play. And uh, I have got a chance here with Ings. And Olsen does well. Gomez swings it round the other way. Seamus Coleman. David, fantastic play by him. Still going. There's nothing wrong with that. How's the delivery near post? Luigi would absolutely love a goal, wouldn't he? The place would erupt if the manager's son could do the business. And a change for Southampton as Adams comes on for Shane Long. Who, who very well could be man of the match, Mina. He's not going to get it because he hasn't scored today, but... Man, the guy's had great performance. Bernard. Great play by Bernard. He's been a handful as well. Delivered in towards Luigi. Comes back towards Hammers. Saved by the goalie. David's there. Seamus Coleman. Uh, Hammers Rodriguez taking a little bit too long. Ward Prowse brings it away and we're into the final couple of minutes of this matchup. Everton now looking to hold on to that clean sheet which will do them nicely. But a chance for Southampton down the left hand side. Seamus Coleman comes across, he gets beaten to the ball. And then Allen sticks a foot in. Theo Walcott closed down by Andre Gomez. There's an effort. Deflected away. And Walker Peters picks it up. Can Southampton grab some sort of a consolation here? Ward Prowse. Oh, well done, David. Brilliant play there, although the pass was poor. But that's the full time whistle. Finally, have a win. Yes, we scored from two corners, but we don't care because a win is a win. And we can hopefully push on from this pretty much let's have a look at those match stats for you nine attempts to seven 50 50 percent possession i mean look at that 100 and we only misplaced 20 passes so can't complain a man of the match was bernard but mina yeah phenomenal phenomenal so the other results burnley drew against tottenham leeds drew against newcastle aston villa winning by goal to nil chelsea losing their first defeat of the season to crystal palace man city beat liverpool arsenal beat wolves Sheffield United won 4-0, Man United lost again, and West Ham dropped points as well. So now no more 100% win record for anyone. Uh, West Ham top still, Chelsea second, Liverpool third. Man United are lying in 11th for you. Man City in 9th, we're up to 15th, there we go. Uh, and bottom of the table is Wolves, that's, that's quite a shock. So we're going to advance to take on West Bromwich Albion at the Hawthorns. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. See, we had a little bit of belief. All right, a little bit of belief as Derby Day Chapter 1. Uh, the match against Liverpool. Oh, goodness me, that's going to be a nightmare. Uh, an old match between two football powerhouses at Derby. Us winning derbies is the reason why the club's fans keep coming back. Well... That's debatable. We all have to watch our own team. That's clear to me. We'll win our next match to show them what we're made of. It's like Oli Gunnar Solskjaer answers. We're looking for three points. Well, yeah. You wouldn't look for one point, would you? But yeah, fantastic, boys. Fantastic. There's Richarlison focused ahead of Derby Day. And we've got some big games coming up as well. Let's have a look at the schedule. So West Bromwich Albion today... Uh, where are they lying in the table? Does it tell you? 17th, so not playing too well. Then we've got Preston North End in the FA Cup Round 2. Uh, then we're taking on Chelsea, Liverpool and Wolves back-to-back. -back. I mean, Wolves is still not going to be an easy game, whether they're top or not, or bottom of the table or not. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Man United and Leicester back-to-back. -back. So, yeah, obviously there's some big games to come. Big, big matches. Let's have a look at the messages, a monthly report. Yeah, not too worried about that. All right, so let's go in here and play around with the lineup for today. And once we have the team, I shall return. All right, so I think we'll go for this today. Um, not really major changes, but there are a few, especially in, uh, well, the front line. All right, so I'm going to start Calvert-Lewin today. I'm going for some players that are up for it. 
Okay, up for it. So Calvert Lewin, we're going to start Iwobi. All right, Iwobi, Iwobi doesn't look bad. I mean, the speed, I right, it's not great. Balance is okay, but we might get a half out of him. You know, we'll see how he does. Plus, he's on blue. Sars on the right. We're going to rest Richarlison because I think bringing him on later could be beneficial uh, with his speed as well. Andre Gomez with Allen and uh, James. I mean, I really don't want to not play Allen right now. And James, you kind of got to play him too. And then the back line is the same. I mean, Aaron's on the bench. You know, we've got to kind of bring the new players in. But I don't know. The Corey in the last game didn't really do it for me. Didn't seem to push forward too much. I think having Allen as a box to box and the Corey's too much. Andre Gomez is a creative playmaker. Having him and James, who's a classic number 10, there's a little bit of quality there. So. We're going to go for that. That's what we're going to go for. So let's dive into it. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. There's a look at West Bromwich Albion. This will be the uh, obviously final match of today. We try and get two matches to go or going. And yeah, can we get back-to-back -back wins? Oh, it'll be beautiful. Anyway, without further ado, let's see how we get on. So live at the Hawthorns for this one. West Bromwich Albion lying down in, I think, 17th place. Everton are up to what, like 15th, 14th now? Looking to make it two wins out of two. And honestly, I think West Bromwich Albion have to be careful of uh, Everton's ability to whip those corners in after they banged in two in that last match. Mina causing so many problems, but a slight alteration up top. Calvert-Lewin comes back into the freight. Richarlison relegated to the bench today, but it could be a tactical move by Luigi as well to bring him on later. Once uh, West Bromwich Albion do get a little bit tired, and Iwobi also getting a rare start as he's completely clattered to the floor. That's showing you exactly how West Bromwich Albion I mean, they come out today. And a straight yellow card for the challenge. And it, and it was it was late. And how will Iwobi fare? Doesn't get a rare start, does he? So or he does get a rare start. So for him, he needs a top quality performance to show the manager what he is capable of. Hamish Rodriguez does brilliantly well. Feeds that one through. I don't know why Saar was trying to stick out a leg when he should have just been running onto the ball. He's fully rested for today's game, so he should be buzzing for it. Hammers. Calvert-Lewin. Saar. Uwobi looking back to Calvert-Lewin, who has stolen it, and he scores! Bosch! Cheeky finish by Calvert-Lewin, but what are West Bromwich Albion playing at? Who knows? Pickford applauds, and rightly so. Three goals for Everton now in the last two matches. Suddenly a big change, but this is all West Bromwich Albion's fault. Just trying to play this over the top. A defender tries to get it down. It's too slow. It's a great finish. Instinctive by Calvert-Lewin to just see the goal. He was already on his way down. And just dink it over the top of him. But this is poor defending. Clear it. Don't try and chest it. Gets caught with the pants down. And that is some finish. 1-0. Krivenovic to take the uh, free kick as he launches it high towards Phillips, who went for the spectacular. Austin gets it away, comes back to Phillips again. Oh, what a finish that is. What a finish that is. A little bit disheartening when you just go and score and they do that right back to you, but credit where it's due. There's the pile-up celebration that we've seen for many, many moons now. He went for that initially. It came back into the mix. And look at this. One touch, bang. Top corner. You're not saving that. I just noticed the uh, the goal ad boards are slightly wrong, saying that uh, West Bromwich Albion are in the sky bet. They were in the sky bet, but they are now in the Premier League. So things have changed. All right, Saar. Look at the space here for Hammers. And a chance for Calvert-Lewin. Oh, I don't know if he was offside there. Flag wasn't raised by the lino. Definitely feel like West Bromwich Albion though today. Going to be vulnerable at the back. We've already seen it once. West Bromwich Albion's goal was just a fine finish by Phillips. Not a whole lot that they could do about it. And neither could Pickford. And here's a chance here for James Rodriguez. And it's deflected away for the corner. Well, corners have been uh, Everton's trademark over the last game. So once again, looking for Mina. It's back to McKean on oh, once more. These corners are giving teams nightmares. Keane pushing forward, but Mina every time this guy getting in the thick of things. 
Mina calling for it once again. This time he's gone towards the near post. The different technique of trying to flick it on. Here is Mina. And he's out of position now, though. That's a bit of a problem for him. Pereira. Fed through. It's a good looking pass. Grzycki. Looking to swing it round. Seamus Coleman with a full bloody challenge there. Allen. Oh, you can see what Calvert Lewin was trying to just let it run through the old legs. Hammers. No support, but uh, finds Allen. Where's Bromwich Albion there? Certainly playing with some uh, pizzazz. Oh, terrible place to lose it there, Mina. And now it's Austin up against Keane. And that's uh, a good bit of defending, but Mina's got to be careful. You don't want to be losing it there. Oh, it's a risky pass. Calvert Lewin gets there first. Feeds it back. Oh, Iwobi was on as well. That is a perfectly, perfectly timed challenge by the defender there. Although that's a terrible place to give it away. Sa, oh, he tried to dink it over the top for... Uh, I don't know who that was in the middle. Dinya. Andre Gomez wants Allen to get involved. Back to Gomez. Well, he has got a chance here to hit this one. He does hit it, but Loam comfortably takes claim. As we are into the uh, final two minutes of this half. And there's been chances. There certainly has been. Seen a little bit of sloppy defending at times as well. As Saar pokes it forward, looking for a Wobi. Awobi done brilliantly well there. Back to Saar. Back to Seamus Coleman. Free header maybe. I thought Calvert-Lewin was all on his own. He wasn't. West Brom get it away. And at half time at the Hawthorns, it is all square. One apiece. Come on, boys. Step it up. So second half begins. There is no changes as far as we know. Everton have... Uh, Kept the same lineup, which generally happens. You don't normally see a change till around the uh, 60 minute mark, but don't be surprised to see Allen get forward a little bit more this half now. The manager just going to give him a, a little bit more freedom to do what he needs to do. As uh, well, here he goes. He's off already towards James Rodriguez on Calvert Lewin pressuring back to a Wobi. Terrible touch by him. Calvert-Lewin again, feeds it off. It's Allen with a go, and he's missed the target. Good Lord, it was back and forth, back and forth. There's Richarlison on the, on the bench with David, or David, should I say. I was just trying to get the strike away, wasn't it? Right here, Calvert-Lewin. I just wanted to feed it off. And how far away was it? Nah. Well done, Seamus Coleman. We are coming up to the hour mark, and there are a couple of players on the bench warming up. Richarlison, unsurprisingly one of them. Here's a Wobi. Haven't seen too much of him today. And Andre Gomez has found some space. Delivers it in. Looking for Saar, but to score a header from there would have been something special. Literally would have had to loop it into the far corner. Comfortable claim by the goalie. I think maybe Everton's best bet would be grabbing a corner right now. Well done, Allen. Great play. Flicks it on. And Calvert-Lewin, has he got the legs and the pace and the strength? No, he hasn't got the strength. Hagazi apparently is an absolute monster. And that's probably one thing Everton are lacking, that little bit of speed up top. Calvert-Lewin not known for that. He's got, you know, a bit of speed, but he's definitely not uh, an Obama yank. Well done, Andre Gomez. Fantastic, but he's been dispossessed. Fed up the line. Robson Carnu looking to play it back. It's a loose pass by him. Jay Gomez has missed it. Here's Phillips. Furlong looking to deliver that in. Comfortable for Pickford. And Everton will keep going. 65 minutes play. They're waiting for the ball to go off now to make a change. Allen, that's a complete force pass. Fortunately, they did the same thing back. Here is Phillips. And Everton had control early on. It's all changed a little bit now. Well done, Mina. Hammers. That's the balls. The passing's a little bit off, isn't it? A little bit off. Well done, Mina. The 
will find Seamus Coleman. Allen. Space through the middle. That's not the pass at all there. Once again, it was James Rodriguez. It was all on his own. Saar is, is off the boil today. Rizicki. It's a good challenge by Keane. And some changes are going to be made. So two changes for Everton. It's Richarlison and Luigi Jr. making an appearance. Is Andre Gomez going to get there? No, he's not. And uh, all of a sudden, West Brom are the team looking more likely to cause problems here. Robson Carnu. Here's Pereira. Furlong lays it up the line. Phillips up against Dinia, but that's great defending. But then Dinia's touch has let him down. Poor place to lose it. Hamiz comes across. Misses the first challenge. Comes back again. West Bromer all over Everton right now. As they're trying to ride out the storm. Well done, Pickford. He's going to launch that quickly. It's a fantastic ball to find Richarlison. Now Richarlison, he's got the freshest legs on the field. He should have the pace. And this is why they brought him on. He's still going. He lays it across. And Luigi was flying in to just try and tap the ball in. Keane just shoved his man on the floor. Richarlison. Not the pass again, is it? It's a poor ball there. Robson Carnu. Keane. Mina. It has got scrappy from time to time. Luigi. Oh, he's trying to find James, but he didn't want to move. Ten minutes to play. Such an open game. It really could go any way at this point. Grzycki, great play. Keeps on his feet, and it's a fantastic ball up the line. Can he finish it off? Oh, it's brilliant, and yes, he can. Unbelievable goal, but defensively, we've been all over the place. Such a nightmare after we started off so well. And West Brom, I mean, credit to them. They've, they've been a tough team to face. This is unbelievable stuff here. Why did I pull two players over? I don't know. And then I'm, I'm just, just poor. Final three minutes here at the Hawthorns. I mean, this very well may be as Mina and uh, Luigi are getting in each other's way but this very well may be West Bromwich Albion's first win of the season Richarlison got some speed got some pace question is how's the ball in it's a good looking ball but that's where they need Mina in the box I think he was in the box but he needs to stay in there there he is going on the charge wants to win it back and it's going to be a throw well, chance for the long throw. It's launched in. It's towards Mina. It's Richarlison. Oh, yes. Mina, you beauty. And Richarlison has saved the day. Say what you want, people. You don't get this excitement on FIFA. Celebrate like we've just won the match. We, we will. We will, ladies and gentlemen. Because Richarlison... <laughs> Mina is turning into an unbelievable centre-back. Route one, flicks it on. The marking's poor, but the finish... The finish is different class. 90-second minute, and this is what he pulls out. Well, it was a good sub in the end, wasn't it? So it looks like the referee blows for full time. Wow. Wow, I mean, I, I'll take it for considering... 30 seconds ago we were going to drop three points and we'll take a point we will take a point <laughs> oh my word there it is five attempts to seven this is a 15 minute match by the way it's oh madness man of the match today was Pereira for West Brom so the other results we have Southampton drew Newcastle won 3-1 against Tottenham West Ham beating Leeds Chelsea bounced back with a win uh, Liverpool beat Crystal Palace Man City beating Wolves uh, Arsenal won 4-0 Man United bounced back and Leicester lost 1-0 so not the result we wanted like I say but uh, what, what, can I, what can you do when you're, when you're literally 10 seconds away from losing and you get a point you're going to celebrate it like you've won it so we're up to 14th I mean we could have gone up to maybe 12th but we're 14th West Ham are still top Chelsea second Arsenal up to third uh, and uh, yeah West Bromwich Albion still haven't won a game uh, neither have Wolves Fulham and Southampton 
So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. We had some goals. We scored. We've, we've figured out a fantastic way to score from corners. I mean, look, it's a game plan. You can say it's a cheap tactic. No, I'm just using what I have. Mina is a massive centre-back. Good in the air. Use him. And, uh, you know, he's paid dividends so far. So we're going to keep doing what we are. Saar was a little bit disappointing that game. Uh, but we will bounce back, hopefully, against... Preston North End. We would expect to dominate this one and maybe put out some of the younger mate. Maybe Luigi gets a start for this one. We'll find out in the next episode. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy it. We'll be back shortly. And until next time, take care.